I think um, food waste is probably one of the biggest issues that the school tackles um, generally because it's one of the most apparent with a canteen as big as ours running as many meals um, to feed the 2,000 something students. Food waste has become quite significant yeah. throughout the day. The majority of waste from our school, over perhaps 85%, comes from consumer plate waste. And that, all of that food waste is, it goes unseen, it goes out of sight, out of mind. Food waste is uh, creating the carbon footprint, so everyone knows, even the kindergarten uh, kids knows that uh, food waste is, uh, uh, should be managed, cut down. So the BIN project is an initiative which we started in order to reduce food waste in our campus. So our, the first problem we had was, you know, what are we actually wasting? We thought that um, if we wanted to reduce waste, then the first step would be finding out what we actually waste. There we use a combination of AI cameras and data analytics in order to find patterns and trends um, about consumer behavior and consumer waste. So right now we've actually managed to build the first prototype of our project, um, which is basically a camera with a PCB installed, and we've managed to install it onto Dexos Bin. So the hope is that once we have this classified, analyzed data, we can then take action accordingly to hopefully reduce the amount of food which is wasted, um, specifically focusing on consumer plate waste. We would say we have checkpoints to reduce the food wastage in terms of. Uh, preparation waste and uh, the food counter waste, but overproduction it's uh, uh, quite challenging in, in terms of retail business. It's purely we can manage that uh, food waste into the communication level, like how many students in the campus. So the secretaries can be advise us. So to we we can make the food preparation plan, so, and also um, it's called a lean path. Uh, system. We, we paid for it actually. So our staffs, um, once the, the lunch finished or uh, you know their duty time finished, they go and monitor the wastage which is which is balanced in the food stock food count. So it will help us which menu is popular, which menu is not popular, and maybe we can uh, change the menu in terms of uh, kids' favorites. Composting is definitely a skill that we keep in mind because of the huge benefits that it has. It also kind of streamlines where the waste goes a bit more because that waste would end up going to a landfill which obviously is not good for the environment. I remember very vividly like in middle school, um, every lunchtime I would go uh, pick up those red compost bins. The group of children will come and collect the, the fruit peels and the vegetable peels. So in the school, how composting works is each classroom area has their own little box that we use to put in all of our food scraps and things like that. So this would include like a banana peel or like leftover paper that was from like a food wrapping or something. But we make sure to ensure, like we're putting in the right things when we're doing it. Yep. And um, once all the material was mixed into big bins, we would let the composting worms go ahead and over a few weeks, as they slowly eat through all of the organic material, um, the excrement that they would then leave in the same bins would be used as fertilizer for other plants around the school.
I think I would just go back to this thing I said before, which is the contradictory nature of the problem of food itself, which in some parts of the world is so, is so scarce and in some parts of the world is so in excess. And bridging the gap between that is what I think our project aims to do. As part of our school's mission to be a more sustainable um, form of education, teaching students about composting and then of course the composting practice as well, it just improves our um, uh, level of awareness. In my perspective, uh, you know, we are in a school environment, so there is a lot of uh, chance to educate the children in terms of food waste. But when you go to individual responsibility, so that one needs